If you want to know how to get your drawings from looking like this to looking like that, I'm going to show you. It's called the Visibility Tool. Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. Today I'm going to have a look at the Visibility Tool and some of the really cool things it allows you to do. I sometimes end up with drawings that have got a lot of information on them. And this information is for various drawings. I've got floor framing drawings, I've got bracing drawings, I've got dimensions, I've got electrical drawings and so on. For getting rid of information, I always use this one here, the Visibility Tool. It is really quick. Now there's a couple of different options here. I'm going to use Classes to get this going. I'm going to change this to the Invisible Mode. And then I can just click on all the things that I want to get rid of. And VectorX will just turn that off. So I'm going to get rid of that message. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This. I need to get rid of this. Get rid of that. Uh, I need to get rid of a lot of this information. Get rid of my kitchens, my plumbing, my notes. I need my grid. I don't need that. Hatching there. Some more hatching there. Steel beams. Don't need that. Don't need my plumbing. I need my lintels. Need my angles. I don't need that. That. Don't need that either. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, do I need that? No, don't need that. Get rid of that. Get rid of my stairs, cupboards, all that sort of covering stuff there, and these notes. And so that's a that's and get rid of my cutter. So I hope you can see that's a reasonably quick way of getting rid of a lot of information. Now, if you get rid of too much, let's get rid of this, for example, our door lintel. And then you say, oh man, I should have turned that back on. One of the other options with the visibility tool is to use it in this mode here. And then put your finger on the V key. Now the V key will turn all the classes back on. Click. And that beam is now back on. So that's a really quick way of managing your information. Of course, what you should be doing is saving this as a save view so that it's really quick to come back to later on. The visibility tool also works in viewports. So you can click on an object in a viewport, like this one here. Click on that, and it will turn that off. And remember, you can hold down the V key, find that text again, or find that lintel again, and turn it back on again. If you really like this movie, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps other people to find my movies. And if you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell so you become a subscriber. If you want to see extended movies like this that really explain the detail of using Vectorworks, then become a member. Click on the option to join my membership. You'll find that you get a lot of movies and a lot of information. You can also join me for live webinars. See you later.